I'm a nerd when it comes to system monitors. It's a weird thing to nerd out on, but I really enjoy watching what my system does and kind of paying attention to all of the minute details on, on what's going on on my computer. It's just something that I enjoy doing. I almost always have HTOP somewhere at hand. It may not always be running, but it's one of those commands that I have assigned to a key binding and can just pop it up whenever I want to. And I did the same thing for when I was using BTOP and be pi top beforehand. I had a key binding for those things that pop up, I'd see it. It's honestly surprising that I haven't given that a scratch pad yet, so maybe I'll do that later. So today what I'm going to do is take a look at a system monitor that I've just heard about, even though it's been around for a fairly long time, and that system monitor is called Glances. Now, Glances has a ton of features, way more features than I could ever cover here, and way more features than I could ever possibly use. It, it monitors way more than just your system resources and stuff like that, but it does do that too, so that's why I'm interested in it. So let me f show you what Glances looks like. So this is Glances. Now it is not the most organized interface that you'll find when it comes to system monitors. It's not. It's very geeky. There's a ton of information here and it doesn't stand out unless you actually know what you're looking at. So along the top you have information on your CPU and your memory. So it'll give you things like load, your buffer, your cache, free use, stuff like that. All that stuff is there at the top. Along the side, along the left hand side here, you have information on your network and your disk I.O. So that's going to show you what is going on on your disks in terms of read write speeds and stuff stuff like that in the center you have your task list now your task list is the one place where you can absolutely interact with the UI so you can scroll up and down using the arrow keys so you can see this little arrow over here that will highlight the particular process that you're on you can also sort by different categories so you can, right now I'm sorted by CPU I can sort by memory I can sort by user I can sort by time I can sort by read write on the, the IO and so on and so forth and you can sort by alphabetical as well which is really nice you can also search by using the enter key so you can enter a name of a process here or you could enter a regex search for a process here if you wanted to and it would then show you the one line of that particular process my one qualm about this particular feature here is that you can't exit this without searching. So if you get into this by accident, there's no way to get out of it unless you actually control, you know, control C out of glances and then go back. So if you get into the filter options by default, you have to filter something in order to actually get out of it. That's kind of annoying. So you can also kill prep processes here if you want to. So you can highlight it and then press K to kill and it will kill that particular process. I did not see different options for different SIGINTs here, so if you are interested in using one of the other like 15 or 45 or whatever there are number of SIGINTs that are out there, you can't. I don't see different options for that. Maybe you won't need it because it will just go through and show you this particular pop-up and you can press yes or no, so I'll just hit no there and it won't actually quit uh, PyCom, which is what I had highlighted. So there is some interactivity in the UI. And if all you ever need is a system monitor, which is basically what I want to use, this is all you'd ever need to pay attention to. It works really, really well, and it looks kind of neat. It's very, very nerdy. It maybe is not as laid out as well as some of the other system monitors that I've used, but I particularly like this UI layout quite a lot. It has a lot of information, and I like that. But if you want more, that's where Glances really shines. So... I'm going to talk about two things here, and there could be many more things that I could talk about, but I'm going to talk about the two things that you probably should know and look into when you get into this. So the first thing is the web server mode. So if you run glances like this with a dash W flag, it's going to start glances in the background on this particular machine. Then anywhere on your network, you can open up this particular URL and it will show you glances inside your web browser. So you could do this, like I said, anywhere on your network, and that means that you could monitor a computer remotely from anywhere on your network if you needed to do so. Uh, you could monitor all the stuff that glances covers, and all of the information is right here. So the only downside of seeing the, to this is that it's not interactive. So you can't scroll through the, the tasks, you can't sort through different things, it's just the way it is. 
that's a little bit of a downside, but if all you need to do is monitor a remote computer on your network somewhere or a remote server somewhere, this would work just fine and it allows you to get all the information that you need. Then and then if you needed to interact with glances somewhere different on a different computer on your on your network, you could do so by using glances in client server mode. So you could start the server on the machine you want to monitor and then go to a different computer on your network and then you could assign that particular instance of glances to monitor the other computer or the other server or whatever. And in that instance, you could actually interact with glances and kill processes and all that stuff. All of the different commands then would work and you'd be controlling everything from a remote client instead of the server, if that makes any sense at all. Now, in terms of actual commands that you can do inside of glances, there are a lot of them. Most of them have to do with sorting. But you can see that there's just quite a few of them. Pretty much every letter has a option assigned to it. And some of it is to toggle different portions of the interface. Some of it is to interact with how those portions are sorted and so on and so forth. So I would highly recommend checking out the documentation, which I will link to in the video description. It will allow you to get a better sense of what glances can do and how you interact with the UI. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the configuration file. And the configuration file does not come on your system by default, at least it did not for me. It says on the documentation that it does, but I didn't see it on my computer. It wasn't in the place where they said it was, so I had to get it off the GitHub page. Not a big deal. I just wanted to point that out if you ended up downloading this and trying it out. So once you get the configuration file in the proper place, this is what it looks like. It's split into several different parts. And for the most part, the first section is going to be all about how the UI reacts to certain thresholds. So when your CPU gets up to a certain percentage, it changes colors and highlights and stuff like that. You can change those thresholds in this first section of the configuration file. And that gives you very minute control over when those highlights come up. So you can do things when you want to be careful, warning, critical, and so on and so forth. For your CPU, memory, swap, GPU, uh, network, IO, all that stuff can be tweaked and customized, whatever, you know, in this first section here in the configuration file. It's at the bottom of the configuration file that where you'll find a good sense of what glances can actually do because there's quite a few things here that it can monitor inside the UI that half the stuff I don't even know what it is or I've just heard about it. I don't know how to use it. I would never need it. So there are certain things like Prometheus is here. There's a couple databases here. Kafka's here. Uh, like I said, CouchDB. There's InfluxDB. There's actually two different versions of InfluxDB that it will monitor or at least has two different ways of monitoring and InfluxDB. And there's a couple other databases here that will monitor as well. So as you can see, as we scroll up here, there's a ton of different things that glances can actually pay attention to if you know how to set it up. So really at the end of the day, how glances looks and what it's monitoring is up to you. And that's one of the things that I really like about it. Now, a lot of system monitors will allow you to change what it monitors. So you can change, you know, you can turn the CPU monitoring off in HTOP if you wanted to. You could do that. Same thing in BTOP. You can remove things from the UI and whatever. So that's not all that unique. It's the extra things that it can monitor that makes glances special. There's also the client server stuff where you can set up one computer or server as the server for glances and then view all of that information on a distant client. You can also monitor glances through the web interface if you wanted to. So those things are all fairly unique to glances. Now there are obviously more enterprise-like software solutions that do the same kind of stuff, but this one here is free, open source, and allows you to geek out on it even if you don't have need for half of the features, which is really nice. So. I really like Glances. I don't know that it would replace BTOP for me because BTOP is a little bit more organized and easier to read at a glance, but this has way more information. So if you are the kind of person who really wants to dial down into as much information about your computer as possible, Glances is a really good option for you. So that is Glances. And I, like I said, I really do quite like it. I like how much information is there. That really does appeal to the nerd inside of me. So if you have comments on glances, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. 
You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Thank you so very, very much for your support. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.